come from all over the world. Indigenous communities have come from Alaska, the lower 48, um, uh, Colombia. I mean, this they needed a space where they could actually commute. And the New School is a part of that communion, and we're showing it today here at the Climate March. are really essential to this movement as they have been to all movements over the last century and I think that students at the New School, especially those that are working in projects like Red Dog Productions, are really finding ways to um, use their skills and their talents to advance all kinds of social causes. Today it's climate but on other days it's lots of other issues. They have energy, passion and commitment and they like to do what's impossible which is what makes this climate march interesting because it's a really impossible task. The history of the New School is really radical and um, I feel like during Occupy that was sort of revived and it's experiencing another revival yet again. I think just bringing awareness to the issue is very important because like whether that be on Twitter or Tumblr, just spread the word about the issues and what this, what this march represents. I'm marching because we only have one planet. I'm marching because I love the people and the planet. You know, for those of us who've worked in environmental issues and sustainability issues, it's good to put real faces to all the people in our country who know this is a real issue. There's so many people out there who want to pretend this isn't happening like it'll go away. It's real, it's happening, and all these people know that. The new school and its students really have a chance to deal with this equity issue, the fact that climate change is not hitting everybody equally, the kinds of events, things that are driven by climate change, whether it's storms or economic uh, results that come out of it, are not hitting everybody the same. It's actually uh, low-income people that tend, minorities that tend to be most affected. This equity issue is massive, and we've really got to be dealing with that. And that's a place, again, I think that we're trying to be out in front and, and really think innovatively about that. I'm here today because I feel that this is a very special kind of march in that it's addressing not only environmental sustainability, but also social justice, which is a very integral part of this movement. I'm marching for climate justice and for the many underserved and underrepresented communities um, that haven't really had a voice in this movement. So excited to see what we can do today and get people in the streets. It's not just America, it's every country around the world, including my country, so we really need this to change. Well, you know what? Today is one piece of what we have to do. We can't march every day. We can't watch a movie every day about, you know, disruption. We have got to put together all the different pieces that we're doing and keep connecting. That's what this is today is about. It's about a connection of 100,000, 200,000, maybe even 300,000 people that are working on this and building the movement. It's about amplifying. So we have to continue to amplify in a variety of ways. At the New School, we're committed to be able to help build the capacity to do that. You know, we all knew that there were hundreds of thousands and millions of people who would turn out to make their voices heard. That's what democracy is about. Every movement for justice has always begun with the people. And so People's Climate March for Justice is exactly what we need, exactly when we need it.